This surprise delay throws the fate of the health care bill into more uncertainty for the White House. It happens because Senator John McCain will remain in Arizona this week following unplanned surgery to remove a blood clot from behind his eye. His doctor says he's okay, but he needs time to rest. Already this morning, the president is tweeting about his frustrations, claiming reporting about the Russia investigation is, quote, distorting democracy. The biggest attraction, not on the green. As the first sitting president to attend the U.S. Women's Open, held on his home course in New Jersey. But the president is also teed off about the fate of health care reform, using his weekly address to sell it. I want to tell you, the Republican senators are working very hard to get something that's going to be really, really good. But Senate action will have to wait. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced late last night that the Senate will defer consideration of the health care bill to give Senator John McCain time to recover from unexpected blood clot surgery, a signal that every vote is precious and the bill's future still uncertain. At a young conservatives conference, Vice President Mike Pence insisted the Senate needs a final push. The Senate health care bill is the right bill at the right time to begin to repeal and replace Obamacare and to rescue the American people from this disastrous policy. A different peril surrounds the White House over the Russia investigation and that campaign meeting attended by Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort where a Russian lawyer and Russian-born lobbyist promised political ammunition against Hillary Clinton. Trump's personal lawyer will be making the TV rounds again today. The president was not aware of the meeting and didn't participate in the meeting. The Trumps claim nothing came of that meeting, but it's on the president's mind, as he tweeted Saturday, dismissing it all as the Russia hoax story. And the president today is also thanking one of his former campaign advisors who testified before the House Intelligence Committee, saying he powerfully told the story that there was no collusion in his campaign, according to the president. The president also tweeting that there were more supporters than protesters at his golf club. Willie? All right, Kelly O'Donnell getting us started this morning. Kelly, thanks. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.